sleep is for rest and relaxation, right? Well, wrong. Do you know what your body is doing while you're sleeping? In this video, I will tell you what happens when you sleep and why it is so important to get a good night's sleep to improve your metabolism, to reset your immune system, to heal and detoxify your organs, improve your memory, and even make you look younger. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell to turn on notifications so that you always get our newest and latest uploads. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, best-selling author, TV personality, medical researcher, and the mom of five children. So please leave your questions and comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd appreciate if you give me a big thumbs up. I love all of your positive feedback. So let's start at the beginning. So the beginning of the day, there's something very important in the sky. Can you guess what it is that is supposed to wake us up? And yes, it is the sun. So that sunrise is super important because it carries the wavelengths of light that actually activate our, our entire body and it helps to wake us up. It turns off our melatonin, but our melatonin is actually created in our eye first in the morning with those morning sun rays. It it also works in combination with DHA, which is usually from fish oil sources or sometimes a supplement, as well as water. And this is activating something called melanopsin in the eye, which is a photoreceptor. It's activated by the blue wavelengths of that sunlight and it helps to wake us up. So melanopsin is also needed for turning on our body clock and our circadian rhythm. And this happens in the SCN, which is the suprachiasmatic nucleus. And this is important because melanopsin, again, is activating our entire body and helping to even regulate our blood glucose. So in a previous episode when I talked about leptin and why it's important to get the light and the sleep and our melatonin and everything right in terms of our metabolism in order to burn fat, you can appreciate that melanopsin and the blue light from the sun also helps with our blood glucose levels. It also creates the action potential for our body to be able to utilize the energy from the sun now involving the hypothalamus and also the pineal gland. So if you want to learn more about all the physiology and the physics and everything that's happening here, please do check out Dr. Jack Cruz. He's a neurosurgeon and he has put all of this information together based on the research, which I love. And you know, you can sort of get lost in his blogs, but I highly, highly encourage you if you've got that sort of geeky side that you do, <laughs> as I do, about research and getting all of the data then please do check him out. He also talked about leptin and I, as I spoke in a previous video all about leptin resistance and why this is sort of the master hormonal control of our body and it all starts with that light in the morning but this has a lot to do again later in the day with our melatonin levels and you've heard of the pineal gland I'm sure the pineal gland in the brain so it's in the middle part of our brain is about the size of a raisin and it is a bi bioluminescent tissue. This means it gives off light. So light is super important for the body and for the pineal gland. And also it has something called calcite microcrystals. And crystals, believe it or not, comes from the Greek word crystallos, which means frozen light. So this is important with these microcrystals in our pineal gland. They're actually sensing the gravitational fields of, as to where we are on the planet it. And this has a lot to do with not only where we are in space, but also in regulating our circadian rhythms and important for setting us up for that good night's sleep. Also, we have a wireless transmitter in our brain because of these crystals. And that's why in another video, when I talk about, you know, protecting your energy fields around you, especially from EMFs and EMR, it's important to know that all of these mechanisms within the brain will have an impact on the health of your overall body, but also with your sleep. That pineal gland is also known to have connections. So remember the pineal gland is in this area 
area, if we were to drill right back, the pineal gland is also known as the third eye and is known to have higher frequencies and connections with the spiritual worlds. So now let's look at the different stages of sleep. So here we can see that at different frequencies of hertz, we can see the different brain waves that happen during sleep. So as we get into the more relaxed state, in the alpha state, then into the theta state, then into the delta state, these are the slower wavelengths. We can see those waveforms are slowing down and this is when we have the healing happening but also that deep and more relaxed sleep. And ultimately, we want to go through these different stages of sleep every single night so we have that restorative impact on our entire body and this is when the healing takes place. So if you can't fall asleep, this is also related now internally with traditional Chinese medicine to their clock and their clock pretty much syncs up with the circadian clocks that we have in our organ systems and in our brain. So for instance, if you can't fall asleep and you have insomnia and let's say it's 11 p.m. or so, and you're still not able to fall asleep, this could be because your endocrine system is overly active and it could be often because of stress in the body and that's why it's recommended that you go to bed around 10 p.m. according to traditional Chinese medicine. Now we can see here that between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. this is when the gallbladder is most active and if you have eaten a lot of unhealthy fats in your diet, the PUFAs which I've talked about in previous episodes, that could be causing a challenge for your gallbladder but also our organs organs are related in TCM to emotions. So if you lack courage, you could find yourself waking up between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. It could be because your gallbladder is having a hard time balancing itself. Also, if you are judgmental or have judgmental thoughts, this could be another reason why you're waking up at this time. So food for thought. Again, when we look at these as guidelines, you can sort of pinpoint if you have insomnia issues and you're waking up in the middle of the night you can sort of pinpoint and you can sort of you know make that mind-body connection as to maybe what's happening in your own world and with your own emotions for instance between 1 and 3 a.m. this is the time of the liver and this is when your liver is clearing out toxins so if you've had a lot of digestive toxins during the day or hormonal imbalance and the liver is having a hard time struggling, maybe you're a smoker, maybe this could be the time that you're waking up because your liver is having a hard time keeping up to that toxic load. Even if you're on pharmaceutical medications, this is the liver and the kidneys are, you know, the big organs that need to detoxify and this could be why you're struggling at this time. Also, if you have unresolved anger, so anger is related to the liver and Chinese medicine, this could be related as well. Between 3 and 5 a.m. we can see that this is related to the lungs and breathing. So some people wake up at this time, some people cough in the middle of the night and usually it's between 3 and 5 a.m. Again, the lungs are trying to clear that toxicity that's there. But also suppressed sadness and grief can be a manifestation in waking you up at this time because that's stored in the lungs. And between 5 and 7 a.m. this is the time of the large intestine. So if you've had you know difficulty with digestion this could be why you're waking up early some people will wake up and have to have a bowel movement immediately well that shows that there's an imbalance and some toxicity that has built up in this organ system and also from an emotional standpoint, it could mean that you have difficulty letting things go emotionally in your life. So please share this video if it will help someone that you know who you, you know is struggling with sleep issues and insomnia. And also if you learned something new, please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you always will be notified of my latest uploads. Remember to take care of your good health and to do it naturally. Thank you for watching. Thank you.